Welcome everyone back to Photography by Harrison. What we are going to be doing today, we're going to be at the lake. We're going to be doing everything in slow motion and seeing with our imagination. And with that being said, come along with me for a fun day in the park. And I will see you on the other side. You have seen a swing set that a child has just left, still moving, and probably didn't pay it any attention. But in slow motion, that same swing set becomes magical. You can hear the voices of the children. You can see the smiles on their faces. You also can hear and see their loved ones all gathered around, wondered, why did I you pass us by so fast? And overcast, misty day at the lake. You have seen it hundreds of times, but when you see it in slow motion and use your imagination, it takes on a different meaning. It becomes romantic, enchanting, and it draws you in. And makes you think of days gone by. You and your favorite loved one at the lake. Raindrops hitting the lake. Yes, you have seen this hundreds of times. But in slow motion, it takes on a different meaning. And do you ask yourself, do the raindrops make the same noise? What do the fish hear underneath the water when it's raindrops are hitting in slow motion? Or maybe my imagination is just getting the best of me. Either way, it's a beautiful day to be at the lake. Float. A feather floating in the lake becomes surreal in slow motion. We all have seen ducks or geese walk and eat before at the lake. But when you see them doing it in slow motion, it makes you want to stop and pause and just marvel at them. When you see those same two birds drinking in slow motion, do you ask yourself, is the water clear? Does it taste better going down? Or is that just a sign of an overactive imagination? This bird stands guard over the lake. And in slow motion, as the magical raindrops dance all around him, he takes on a regal appearance, for he, on this particular day, is the master of his domain. We have all seen duck, geese, and mallards swim in the lake and drink from its waters, but in slow motion, it becomes magical. The colors are more vibrant, the feathers are fluffier, and the water is smoother. Well, at least that's what I see with my imagination. What are you seeing with yours? Well, I hope you enjoyed this slow motion trip to the lake through my imagination. If you like what you see, leave a comment below. And also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you're watching this on YouTube so you can get all my videos. And also, in your comment, tell me what you like and what you don't like. Because if you like it, that motivates me to go out and do more videos. If you don't like it, that's fine. Just tell me why you don't like it. Because, because that would also motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them the next time. Because you know I say it all the time. When it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you next time.